and welcome back to Monday Movie Hunting, the best way to start your week. Da -da 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 -da. Today, of course, is Monday, and if you watched last week's video, you'll know what this week's video is all about. It's all about the year, this year's Monday Movie Hunting. Um, I'm super excited that we are kind of getting towards the end of this year. I always like this time of year because obviously it's Christmas, and I always enjoy Christmas and the festive times, and I always look forward to January and kind of New Year's Eve and starting a new year. And then I always love looking back over the past year and everything like that. Um, so in today's video, because I'm not picking anything up, I don't think anything's coming out. No, I don't think there is. Um, I kind of had a thought then that there might be. I'm not sure. Let me know if there is. Uh, I wanted to go over, firstly, um, the Monday movie hunts I have not seen yet. Secondly, kind of talk about last year, 2017 compared to this year, talk a little bit about next year and just generally talk about the Monday Movie Hunting in general. Uh, I will be continuing Monday Movie Hunting next year. As always, I just always do Monday Movie Hunting. I will definitely be uploading more videos next year as well. Uh, I'm sorry that it's constantly just Monday Movie Hunting, Monday Movie Hunting and nothing else in between. Uh, at the moment that's just um, how it is unfortunately but things will definitely pick up. Classic Josh is now eating crisps in the kitchen so if you can hear crisp crunching that's all that is okay so let's talk about this year i i don't know i don't know i thought this year was a better year than last year but looking at the films there were some fantastic films last year as well so i am a little bit torn i definitely think that this year and last year were better than 2016 though uh, i'm pretty sure i can confidently say that um so let's talk about the oldest film that i have yet to watch so basically last year i had a film that i bought in february that i never finished watching i still haven't finished watching it and i just uns i didn't succeed with watching all the films last year i'll talk about which ones i still got to watch from last year because basically what happened was in january i was like oh these ones i haven't seen yet they're still the ones they haven't seen yet i still haven't gone back and watched them which is terrible uh, but once i kind of failed the thing i was like oh i didn't watch these i didn't get to them i just never went back um, so I desperately want to get the ones finished from this year and I definitely think that I will be able to achieve that. Uh, so first of all, the oldest film on the Money Movie Hunt list, I'm pretty sure it's from July. Let me have a look, let me just check. Is it July? Yes, July. I've actually got three from July, which is insane. Um, July was just a bit of an average month, I think. Uh, the first one, the oldest pickup I have is Red Sparrow. Now I've started watching this, but I wasn't super into it. So I need to carry on with it. I need to watch it again. Josh is now trying to be really slow and sneaky up the stairs because I told him he was being loud. Uh, yeah, Red Sparrow. I just need to, I need to watch this one. I need to get into it more. Um, I don't know what it was about it. I just wasn't really super into it. And I watched, I think, 40 minutes. How long is it? Let's see. 134 minutes. So I basically got 100 minutes left. So it's not really, I didn't really watch that much. Okay, the next one, also from July, A Wrinkle in Time. This is a Disney movie, this is Disney live action, it's got a great cast. I would have been looking forward to this so much. However, everybody hates this movie. And so I, I don't really know. I don't really know what to, I just keep putting it off. I think that I now have such low expectations for the film, I think I might enjoy it a bit. I'm hoping so. How long is this one? Let's have a look. 110 minutes, so not too long. Um, you know, it's not not quite two hours, so yeah, we'll see. Now the next one for July, I know, what is with July? It's one that's a bit difficult and I kind of regret buying it because it involves more work and that is Pacific Rim Uprising. The reason this involves more work is because I haven't seen Pacific Rim. Who buys the sequel without seeing the first one? I do, and now I've decided I won't do that anymore. So that's why I didn't pick up The Equalizer 2, because I haven't finished watching The Equalizer. I started it, I really enjoyed it, don't know what happened, haven't finished it. This one, uh, when I actually picked this up, I started watching Pacific Rim, but it's a long film, and I haven't finished watching it yet. I know. So July isn't a successful month for me. So let's just put July to one side, unsuccessful. Let me just have a look at what other films came out in July because I feel like July... Oh, to be fair, one of my favourite films of the year did come out in July. There were some good ones in July. Actually, let me tell you, every film 
from July, I have given four or more stars, oh maybe bar one, possibly bar midnight is so much, I might give them three and a half. So you know, there is hope for the other July movies. Okay, next I have one from August, and that's Isle of Dogs. I am looking forward to this, I do think that I will enjoy it, um, but I watched um, Fantastic Mr Fox just before this came out and then I kind of wasn't in the mood for something, you know, so similar uh, in style obviously. Um, so yeah, I just kind of kept putting this one off, but I am looking forward to it, I'm sure I will enjoy it and that's my only August one. Okay, so now bar those, all of these are November and December pickups, so I feel like that is a success. Um, so I have three from November, that doesn't sound right, let me check. Oh wait, is that even from November? Let's see, so there's one from August, as we said, none from October. One, two, oh no, sorry, two from November. Two from November, I feel like that is just insane. Because November was my largest pickup month of the whole year. So, the two from November are The Secret of Marabone, which I am really looking forward to, so I have no worries I won't watch this before the end of the year. I'm really looking forward to that. Again, these ones I've only picked up so recently, so I just haven't got to them yet. And the next one is Fireworks, which is this really nice collector's edition. Again, really looking forward to this. It's from the company All the Anime. Um, and, oh, I am looking forward to this. I have done an unboxing of this, but I haven't uploaded it yet. So I will do that as well. Looking forward to that one. Can't see having any problems watching that one. And then basically we have ones from December. Uh, my oldest December one is Mission Impossible Fallout. I am really looking forward to watching this. I've heard fantastic things about it. But it's longer than some of the others, so I just haven't got to it yet. And it obviously it only came out very recently. And then I have the ones that I picked up last week. Christopher Robin. I still haven't seen this past... No, sorry, last week was a really busy week. And I didn't have a chance to watch this. And then also, I've been thinking, I do keep trying to encourage myself to backtrack first, because otherwise, I know I'm going to watch this before the end of the year, I have no worries that I'm not going to not get to this, because I know any chance I'll watch it, so I'm going to try and push myself to watch some of the others maybe first, but I really want to watch that one most than any of these. Uh, and then the next one is The Meg, again, it's just I picked it up so recently, I haven't watched it yet. Um, so yeah, those are all the movies that I haven't seen yet, which I think is pretty good, I'm not too worried about it. The ones that I'm most obviously like, ugh, is these ones, the older ones. I don't know, I just keep putting them off forever. So I need to get to these ones. These are the ones I need to watch. Um, so definitely follow me on Letterboxd uh, FK Vlogs to check whether or not I get these watched. Of course I will do an update at the end of the year and I'm hoping that I will succeed. Um, now I'm going to check what are the movies that I haven't watched from last year and just see how many there are and um, we'll have a little look. Okay, so I've got my little list up. The one from February is Free State of Jones. Again, I started watching this one and I haven't finished it. I will have to probably restart it at this point, obviously, because it was last February that I started it. Uh, so it's been well over a year, uh, nearly two years. Uh, and then I've watched all of March, all of April, all of May, I feel like it's going well, all of June, all of July. Oh, okay, and then in August, I have Their Finest, which again, I have started watching but have not finished. Again, I'm going to have to restart that one. Um, that seems to be a theme. If I start watching something I'm not really enjoying it, I struggle to then finish it. Okay, September. I watched all of September. October. Okay, uh, October. Ugh, again, I've got Descendants 2. I started watching it, but I have not finished. Um, Descendants 2, I was really struggling with. I haven't watched hardly any of it. I really enjoyed the first one. Well, really enjoyed it a bit. Um kind. I enjoyed the first one uh, and I wanted to watch the second one. The second one I was finding terrible but I still I still want to watch that one. Give it another go. Um, then we have November which I haven't watched. War of the Planet of the Apes which I know is crazy because I feel like that's going to be the best film of all these ones that I mentioned. Um, but the reason why I haven't watched it is because I haven't seen Dawn of the Planet of the Apes which again why? I don't know. Because I love 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 rise of the planet of the apes i feel like it's one of my favorite films i absolutely love that film and what happens is i watch rise of the planet of the apes and then i rewatch rise of the planet of the apes and then i think oh i want to watch dawn of the planet of the apes so what i do is i re-watch 
Rise of the Planet of the Apes, thinking, oh yeah, that'll be good. And then I get really into Rise of the Planet of the Apes, and I just love that one. And then I don't actually watch Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. So that's what happens with that one. Um, so I haven't started that one. I feel like I've missed one on here. Um, maybe not. Yeah, I have. Where is Power Rangers? Power Rangers I also haven't seen. But what month it came out, I do not know. Ah, there we go. July, Power Rangers. Haven't seen any of that one yet. Um, and then we shuffle down to December, which seems like I just completely gave up. One, two, three, four, five. Picked up five movies in December. And I didn't watch Girls Trip. Don't know why. Looking forward to it. And I didn't watch The Limehouse Column. I don't know why, because I'm looking forward to it. So my plan is, my plan is, I want to complete 2018. I want to backtrack and I want to finish 2017 as well. And then obviously next year, again, as always, I plan to watch all the movies that I pick up as I obviously always do. I don't plan to pick up movies and not watch them. It's just, um, sometimes you pick it up and you're excited in the moment and then like a week goes by because you didn't get a chance to watch it. And then it kind of is like other films come out that are a bit more exciting. Like, oh, I'm gonna watch this one now, I'm gonna watch this one now. And then you just don't get to that one that ends up getting pushed behind. Um, I've already started making my list for next year. And I can already tell you that in January, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11 which is fantastic because this January was very quiet. 2018 January was a quiet month. Um, February, I've got quite a few as well. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, which isn't too many. February this year was a really busy year. And for March, I again already have uh, five. So obviously there's gonna be more uh, announced for release in February and March. So, so far, all of them I'm really looking forward to. It's looking to be an interesting year. Uh, I've learnt this year that some of the ones I picked up that I wasn't super in the know about or that I was a little bit on the fence about that she really enjoys. So I am trying to take some risks, but then sometimes it really doesn't pay off and sometimes it does. It just really depends. Um, but yeah, obviously we'll do a full overview review of all the movies that I picked up over the year. I'll obviously have them all, show them all, talk about them all. Hopefully we'll have watched them all. That'll be early next year. So definitely do that, as uh, so that video will definitely be coming. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Next week, I'm also not picking anything up. So, so, to be honest, I pressed pause because I could see I was running out of space and I've completely forgotten what I was saying, but I was saying the word so. Um, so, was it about next week? Yeah, next week, don't know, we'll just go with this. Next week, I, oh, ah, no, next week I'm not picking anything up. So, that was what I said. Um, so we'll be doing like more of a Christmassy themed video because obviously next week will be Christmas Eve so if you celebrate Christmas next Monday it's Christmas Eve. Um, there are, there is a film coming out next week. I don't know if I'm picking it up yet. I do need to see where I get with what I've got uh, because obviously the end of the year is coming close so I need to look into it. Uh, so I'm not going to do a guessing sheet because I just, I just don't know if I'm picking it up. And then on Boxing Day there's like some films coming out but I'm not going to do a Boxing Day Monday movie hunt because it's not Monday. And Boxing Day is on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday. And so what happens is Christmas Day we're really busy. Like it's one of the busiest days I actually have of the whole year. Uh, going to a lot of different places and there's like times involved. It's this whole thing. Um, Boxing Day though is usually a bit more of a chill day. So I'm really looking forward to Boxing Day. Um, so I don't particularly want to go out anywhere on Boxing Day. Because uh, Boxing Day is always crazy as well. Shopping and everything. So I don't really want to go anywhere on Boxing Day. So I won't be actually filming a Boxing Day Monday movie home, Which I have done before. But I'm not desperate to pick up the movies. Like if it was something crazy that I desperately wanted, I probably would have. But it's not. So what we'll do is we'll talk about the Boxing Day movies next week as well. And I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on them. So I can know whether or not to pick them up. Because there's some interesting ones which I think you're going to have some thoughts on. So we'll talk about all those movies next week. So we will have, uh, I think, three movies to discuss that are kind of new releases or coming out that week. And then we'll also talk about Christmas movies. Because, you know, it's the day before Christmas. So we might as well get festive. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this different video and this look back on Monday Movie Hunts. It wasn't necessarily a full look back but we got a glimpse into what I've still got left to watch and I think, I think that I can do it. Fingers crossed. I feel like Pacific Rim, I need to watch the first one desperately soon. But we'll see. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this Monday Movie Hunt. Make sure to tune in next Monday for the festive one and so I can hear your guys' thoughts on the movies that are coming out that week because I desperately need your help to know whether or not to pick them up. And also I'll update you on how I'm doing with the ones I've got left. Until then, I'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!